Hello, my name is Ariel like the mermaid. For some reason, a lot of people still have a lot of problems with the word feminism. A lot of people seem to think that, that feminists hate men, or that feminists uh, think that women should have more rights than men, or they think that, that um, men can't be feminists, and that feminists never include men. But in actuality, feminists believe in the social, economic, and political equality of all people regardless of their gender. There are people of all genders and all sexualities that believe in feminism because they believe in gender equality and they want to fight for gender equality. Not all feminists are women, and there are many feminists who are men, and not to mention feminists who are non-binary people. Like me. Feminists fight systems of oppression that allow gender inequality and misogyny to exist. This includes fighting rape culture, slut-shaming, transphobia, gender roles, uh, unequal pay, to name a few things. But for some reason, some people, even people who believe in gender equality, or at least think they believe in gender equality, don't like the term feminism for some reason. And this could be a lot of reasons. Um, I think one is because feminism has had a complicated history, and it's not always, um, for example, uh, feminism in the past hasn't always been inclusive of transgender people. There has been a past of um, certain uh, sex of feminism uh, that often um, didn't uh, regard uh, trans women as women and uh, excluded trans women and um, you know it, there, there's been a little bit of a complicated um, history between um, the trans movement and the feminist movement. And in fact some of this still exists today because there are some people who call themselves feminists who do exclude trans people and don't include um, trans people as, as part of um, the feminist cause. But many different movements have a less than perfect history, including the gay rights movement, which often has had a history of um, disregarding trans people and of uh, disregarding uh, queer people of color and uh, disregarding bisexual and pansexual people. There's um, certainly the gay rights movement hasn't been, been perfect either, but that doesn't mean that it isn't um, in general a good cause. Um, but I can make a, I might make an entire video about uh, the imperfections of uh, the gay movement later. So the point of this video isn't to tell people that they have to call themselves feminists uh, necessarily, but it's it's a video. I, I want to encourage people to be more open-minded and recognize um, that just because someone identifies as a feminist doesn't mean that that you know everything about them or that you can you should assume certain like everything about them. Um, I mean, at the at the core, feminism is about uh, promoting gender equality. The feminist movement is a diverse movement, and many different people with many different backgrounds, including different religious backgrounds, different um, ethnic backgrounds, and lots of different people consider themselves feminists, and lots of people of different genders consider themselves feminists, including men. So be careful about the assumptions you make about a person just because they identify as a feminist. And, I mean, if you have a reason why you you, you strongly have this discomfort about calling yourself a feminist, then consider why it is. Why, why do you have such a, this feeling of, of um, reluctance to call yourself a feminist? Or what, why do you have this kind of um, aversion to the, the term feminist? What, what is it about that term that makes you feel uncomfortable? And like write in in the comments if you, you know, why you don't like the term feminist, I'd be very curious to know. One thing that I that I've I've always found really interesting is is how it seems like there are a lot of men who are very intimidated by the idea of feminism and, and the idea of feminism seems to really make them feel uncomfortable. One thing that happened to me that kind of illustrated this was um, my senior year of high school. A group of people decided to start a group called Feminists of the Future, and I was part of the group because I believe in gender gender equality, and I, I I considered myself a feminist even then. And when this club uh, started, a lot of people, um, you know, didn't want to join the club because, uh, you know, the, the term feminist bothered them, and um, a lot of people. Um, found the word seemed to kind of take that the, the idea of the club um, as like an attack on them and an attack on men for some reason in fact it was um, so much that uh, that in fact there was a, a a club made in response to it called men of the millennium 
And I always found, I found that very strange, the fact, because Feminists of the Future was a club that it was open, it doesn't, it, in the title, it doesn't exclude men. Um, it's feminists, which feminists includes men who believe in gender equality. Uh, people who believe in gender equality regardless of, of their gender. Uh, and if they want to fight for gender equality, um, they can be feminists. So the club did not inherently exclude men. And yet, so many men, uh, men at that high school, at my high school, uh, felt intimidated enough just simply by a club that focused on women's rights and focused on fighting misogyny, um, that they that they felt the need to create a club that specifically was for men, because just by the title, is Men of the Millennium. Uh, it, it, and at the end of the day, it wasn't... They didn't do anything horrible, and they um, actually, you know, it, it did cause a lot of um, discussion to happen. And a lot of, there was occasionally discussion between uh, Feminists of the Future and Men of the Millennium. Um, you know, and it, it, did, it did kind of open up some discussions about gender, but the thing that was really interesting is men of the millennium had, like, a lot of people joined the group, like, it was on Facebook was mostly where that was active. I don't know if they actually had any meetings, because, like, honestly, it was, I think it was mostly in the beginning started as a joke, because um, it was a joke, you know, men of the millennium, whatever the fuck that means. But uh, <laughs> the point is, um, like, on their Facebook page, though, they had, like, tons of, they had a lot of the men at the school were part of that and were totally comfortable being part of a club that was called Men of the Millennium. They had no um, objection to being part of a club that, like, specifically was men and was, you know, uh, in response to feminism and was, you know, about, you know, men, and specifically men, and kind of excluded women uh, just from the title and excluded people who, just anybody who doesn't identify as a man. And yet, Feminists of the Future had a lot less people joining it, and which implies that a lot less people were comfortable being part of a club that just believed in, in addressing uh, women's rights and addressing just in general issues of gender inequality. The men of the school were totally cool with being part of a club called Men of the Millennium, but um, not, not just in general, the, the, I mean, but um, women in... Uh, in the school, um, and just old people, but particularly women of the school weren't comfortable being part of a club called Feminists of the Future because they were afraid that people would make certain assumptions about them. But, like, the people who joined Men of the Millennium didn't have any, uh, sort of, uh, d didn't, didn't feel any kind of, uh, didn't have to worry about the judgments people would make about them for joining a club called Men of the Millennium that was in response to uh, feminists of the future. I mean, I don't know. I just, I just thought that that was, um, it was just an interesting experience, you know, and the, the, the fact that, um, men at the school felt so intimidated by a feminist club that they, they decided to start a, a useless club that really didn't do much as far as I know, and didn't really, it, it ended up talking about issues because, um, they started, um, actually having somewhat of a dialogue with the feminists of the future. Um, but, you know, I mean, but initially it was more just kind of, uh, as started as a joke, um, because they felt uncomfortable with the idea of feminism and um, things not always just being about men. So, I don't know, I mean, and it really, I think it really, that experience uh, really related relates to like the the idea of men's rights activists and the um, kind of meninists or whatever. The fact is, gender inequality affects men too, and there's many ways that it does affect men. However, these these it doesn't. I've not. I've yet to see any of these men's rights activists actually talk about issues that really affect men. And feminists do address these issues. I have yet to hear any men's rights activists address issues like male victims of rape and how the media often treats um, rape uh, of men like it's a joke and treats um, and, and often disregards uh, 
men being raped as a, as a serious issue. The discrimination that men of color face. The issues that trans men face. The restrictive gender roles that society places on men and, and the, how society says men can't dress a certain way and can't wear makeup, you know, and, and how um, society says that, that men should act a certain way and shouldn't um, show their emotions as much. Things like that, the, that would be, those would be great things for men's rights activists to point out, but I haven't really heard them point that out that much. Maybe some of them have, but the fact is a lot of feminists have addressed these issues and have addressed the fact that how gender roles actually also not only affect women but also affect men and just affect everybody. And a lot of feminists also talk about trans people, including trans men, trans women, and non-binary trans people. I guess my, my main point is that I, I just find it interesting that a lot of people seem to have a discomfort just with the idea of feminism. Um, and even if you aren't comfortable calling yourself a feminist, I think you can recognize um, a lot of good things. I mean, uh, uh, people um, say like, oh no, there's no gender inequality today, which is bullshit, but any, a lot of the, the gender equality that there is today, the, the, the fact that women can vote, and the fact, um, just the progress that we have made, and we have made progress as a culture, um, but a lot of that progress is really due to the feminist movement, and we, we, we need the feminist movement in order to make more progress towards gender equality. So once again, I mean, if you, if you want to explain to me why, why you don't like the term feminist, please tell me in the comments. I'd be very interested in hearing. Um, you know, especially if you're someone who does acknowledge that gender equality is important. But if you're someone who doesn't like the idea of feminism because you believe that men should be superior and you don't like the idea of gender equality, then uh, go fuck yourself. Bye!